Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to this game's tutorial. Today we fix a long time bug that was probably like introduced in like episode 6 or 7, I'm not sure, but um, I pretty much just show you the code I've written when I wasn't recording and uh, it's like two lines basically. So we fix that and then we start working on our actual hub scene. We have so many things to do in the hub scene, but the first one we'll do is the easiest one. We are going to take care of the war table. Now we now have four buttons, choose your difficulty, this one is easy, medium, hard, and insane. And whenever we click on that, we get the usual launch, but um, we're actually on that very difficulty, so this one has 7 HP, we're on insane right now. And there's also another little bug that we, um, we fix, and it is right at the very end, say you're actually running a, uh, a different difficulty, you're running say, um, hard, and you finish the first wave, if you're trying to quit after that, we used to give you only a hundred gold, but that's not what's supposed to happen. Whenever you quit and say you're in hard, we should be multiplying this by times four, so we do add that little multiplier um, at the very end of this episode. So a lot of bug fix and also we introduce the first ob section. Guys, without further ado, let's get started. So today we can actually start messing around in our hub a little bit. So um, last few episodes we took care of the rest of the gameplay. We now got our research, currency, abilities. Everything seems to be working. Uh, at least good enough for us to have a game flow going on. Let's head over to our hub. And now this place, this screen right here, is the source of a lot of problem actually. Because in one of my episodes, I think it was like episode 6, I have did something more that I didn't put in the video afterward and uh, it's just a small mistake on my part. So I pretty much told you guys to just leave this page like it is and not touch it too much. In order to fix your bug all you have to do is like drag this war table menu at the very end. And um, the reason I told you that is because we couldn't click on this button because the other menu on top of it we're actually blocking the raycast even though their alpha is on zero. If the block raycast is on, the war table is above that. As you can tell, I can't click it because one of them is blocking the raycast. In this case, it is the tower stats menu. But if it is off, we can actually click it. And um, I'm just going to show you the modification I have did. It was to the hub object script so you can do them really quickly. Um, there wasn't a lot of things, so basically I just decided to um, block the raycast. <laughs> as simple as that. So I'm going to show you this code really quickly. We have our two uh, public stuff up here, that's fine, we already had that. I think those fields we already had as well. The real big difference is over here. So we get the canvas group, we put its alpha to zero, that I think we're doing. We also put the interactable to false but we also block the raycast at the very start. So we're hiding this completely and we're making sure that the raycasts are not being blocked. Now if we scroll down a little bit, we change this, so that's fine, everything was fine here. In the fade menu, we just reactivate it. So if boolean show is true, we put the, uh, the, the block raycast to true and also the interactable to true. So that's the big thing that I've did. Uh, that I've added after the video, so I hope everything is clear now and everybody has a working menu. If that is the case, we can now proceed to the next step, just to start coding our little ob object. So we have the share center, the war table, the tower stats, and the research. We are going to go in the order from the easiest to the hardest. The easiest one we're going to be doing today in today's video um, is this one, the war table. Now what exactly can we do with, with a war table? We can start a game, as simple as that. But there is a few things uh, that differs whenever you're trying to start a game. Well actually there's only one thing and it's the difficulty. So what I plan on having here is four different buttons and they all take me to a different difficulty, basically. But before we get into that, we need to put some code to support that. I'll do the code first this time. Let's head over to our hub scene. 
We haven't seen this scene in a long time, so instead of that scene, I will find my UI root, find my war table menu, here it is. I'll put the alpha on one so I can actually have a look at this thing. And here it is in all its glory. I will click on the button and actually find which function this button is calling. So as you can tell out here, it is calling the start mission from the hub manager. I will open up that script and we will do some modification in here. So um, start mission. This is what is being called whenever we start the mission. Now what needs to change here is I need this to actually take in parameter a difficulty like this. But the only problem is that um, the Unity inspector doesn't seem to like it when I pass in my own custom structure. So if we take a look at the button now, where is it at? It's over here. It is not able to find my, my um, start mission anymore. If I go under hub manager, the start mission is gone because it takes in parameters something it does not understand. So my own, my very own structure that we call difficulty. And now I don't know how to fix this. I don't know if there's a way to actually pass in a difficulty, but um, since I haven't found one, we will pass in a string instead. And we'll do a simple switch case in here. So now it should actually show. Hub manager. Uh, start mission takes in parameter a string. Let's say easy, something like that. So depending on which string I pass, we are going to give this a difficulty. So let's do a super fast uh, switch case. Declare a difficulty. So difficulty D switch diff, which is what we get in parameter. That's the that's the string. And we're going to do if it says easy in the string, diff is equal to difficulty dot easy. And we break, make sure you break, real important. If it is medium, then let's go ahead and just do diff is equal to difficulty dot medium. And again, we break case hard. Diff is equal to difficulty dot hard. We break again and finally insane diff is equal to difficulty insane. So we've got all our difficulty right here. We break one small and that's actually at the default. So if we make a typo in here, we are going to do a case, well, actually default. So default debug.log um, wrong difficulty input. And we're going to say difficulty diff Oh, you know what? I've been missing this out the whole time. <laughs> My bad. Um, we're not supposed to do diff. We're actually supposed to do D. So D is equal to easy, medium, hard, insane. And finally, D is equal to difficulty.easy. That's just if we have it wrong. So we just give it a default value. And we finally break. So this is what our code looks like. Um, would be so much easier if I could just pass in a uh, difficulty parameter, but well, this is also going to work. And uh, whenever we do have this, we have this difficulty now, we can't just set it inside of the game manager because the game manager, manager does not exist yet. It exists only once we load the scene and at that one point, if we do it after that, it's not going to work basically because this object won't really exist anymore and the game manager is not going to have an instance just yet. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to go over to the tower, find a nice niche somewhere maybe here public difficulty chosen difficulty put that on a set get and we just leave it here inside of the tower script and whenever we start the mission we're gonna say the tower dot instance chosen difficulty is equal to D D like that <laughs> Good, so we have pretty much everything we need. We are gonna head over to the game manager. So game manager up here. Um, can also open it from here. And inside of that game manager, we're gonna be replacing the line that we manually put. So under the start, there is this current difficulty is equal to difficulty.easy. Well, current difficulty is now equal to the tower dot instance chosen difficulty. 
and this is pretty much all we need for the code part we are now allowed to go ahead and just start doing this nice piece of UI so let's just imagine how we want to be putting this I have an idea and I will execute it right now actually so we have our war table menu maybe put the height in like 300 uh, move it in the center center ish and I will put a horizontal layout group on that. All right, so that's the first button. I don't really want any text on it just yet. We will redo the whole art thing. So I'll just remove the text completely. This is the easy button. I'll duplicate that medium button. So medium, hard button. Also, I'll always make sure you modify it inside the unclick event down here. An insane button. So in my head, what I see right now in terms of the UI is those kind of strips. So those kind of uh, long strips, and we're going to have some information in there, such as uh, you get seven times the amount of gold, or the enemies are seven times tougher, and all, all that kind of good stuff. And maybe even wrap it inside of another panel. So I'll create another panel really quickly. and. Um, this is going to be the difficulty container in case I need to write some other stuff above. I will take all my buttons, put them inside the difficulty container. I'll also move this horizontal layout group from the war table menu to the difficulty container. So this is the kind of result we get now and um, you can play around with the difficulty container as much as you want. So maybe give it a small margin at the top. 30 and a small margin at the bottom as well, so 30 again. And on the right side, why not? 10, left, 10. So you know, you can just have fun with that. Um, and that's it, really. That is pretty much all we need in this one. And I'll give it a bigger height. Maybe play with this around a little bit. So it just depends on what you're really trying to achieve here. And you know what? Let's add a text while we're at it. So on top of my difficulty container or before my difficulty container, I create a text, anchor it at the top, reset its position, maybe make the width 550, which is the same as this whole box and the height for 75. Sounds good. Center, center. Start a mission. No, or choose your difficulty. So you get the idea, you just play around with the UI until it actually looks like something. And of course the whole art part it's not completed yet. And uh, let's see this. So choose your difficulty. We're going to choose insane because we're stupid. Let's pause the game, have a look, see if everything works fine. Here's my first tiny enemy. It has 7 HP, so it is on insane. And let's actually try to defeat him. We deal 6 damage. We're going to need to use boost morale here. As you can tell, we can now one shot them because we're under boost morale. Are we going to be able to complete the first wave? We are, so that is the first wave. And if I quit now... Oh, that's a small bug we need to fix. If I quit now, I only get 100 gold, but we have did this on insane, so I'd like to get 700 gold. We are going to fix this really quickly, and that's a small bug that I just realized right now. Um, so where exactly were we in the last episode? I think we were over in the game manager, if I recall. Yeah, over here in the game manager, on option and to hub. We should be doing all of that, so times 100, that's fine, but times int current difficulty. That's the last part I totally forgot, guys. I'm Again, I'm really sorry about forgetting these kind of simple stuff. But we always end up fixing them, and yeah. It should make more sense now. Let's try and launch a um, in hard game. So this is the hard button. 
Here's an enemy that has 4 HP. If we try to quit now, we get 0 gold and that's totally normal. So let's go ahead and complete this wave really quickly. We should get the amount of gold we get for wave 1, so that's 100 times 4, so 400 whenever we try to quit when the second wave starts. Here it is, 400 gold, and we look at our goal right now, we're at 497. Let's start, oh, that's a small bug we need to fix. Um, and as you can tell, 897. So everything seems to be working fine. Our first ob section is done. Now this one was the easiest, the other one are way harder, but hey, at least we got one out of the way. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you liked it. If you did, please leave me a like, really appreciate that, and it does help me out a lot. A lot. Right. Um, if you have any question or comment, leave them in the comment section below or on the Facebook page. I will see you guys in the next episode. Please subscribe. Blah blah blah. Yeah.